you need the Microtech bit tool. You remove the six screws. Ensure you hold down on the two parts of the knife while doing so. And set these six screws aside in a safe spot. Beforehand I loosened the glass breaker with an Allen wrench like this. Now it's hand loose. So I can remove the belt clip. It just makes it easier to take the two halves apart. I'm still holding on to the two. The main spring goes this way. It's under tension right now, even with the blade open or closed. Uh, so you will hear a snap when the two pieces are separated. Sometimes the parts go flying, so you can expect that. So here are the main parts. You have a spring. You have these two L-shaped end pieces that go on the spring. This is a track or a guide, a button that works the action. <clears throat> Here's our parts, blade inside. Here's the uh, locking closed, locking open mechanisms, little gates. You can pull them in yourself and slide the blade. You can pull it out if you want to push this out of the way, pull it right out. <clears throat> Here's the step where you want to clean or oil, anything you want to do there. Now to reassemble, you want to put the blade in, push the top gate closed, and leave the knife blade in a neutral position. You don't want it closed or open. This is the part where you want your safety goggles because springs fly. When I first tried this, I kept trying to put the spring in, uh, the guide, and putting the guide in here. It kept popping off over and over. I decided to use the top part of the handle first. So what I found works very well is you take the guide, take your spring, and insert it into the ends. The spring can go underneath or on the top. I like to put the spring through the bottom. It seems to keep the proper torque on the end so they don't go flying. I'm going to attach both ends. Uh, so it looks something like this. This part that is rounded goes on the top and this uh, longer L shape goes on the bottom. This is what catches the blade on the bottom and this top part catches on the circular pin of the blade. So now you want to take the guide with the spring in it and put it in the top of the handle so the spring lines up with this groove. So now you see the basic shape here. This is where the button faces, so that little nub sticks there. And here on the bottom, that's what grabs the bottom of the blade. This little triangular piece of the guide runs along there, open and closed. So when you work the button, this is actually what it's doing. It uh, puts tension on the bottom of the blade until it releases the gate lock over here. And the spring forces the blade forward. Then the blade catches on the top part of the spring and the lock. And then when you pull uh, backwards, the opposite happens. Uh, this gate is released and it flies back down to lock. So here is where the two parts come back together. You want to use a butter knife and just keep the spring assembly down tight. Take the top half of your knife and place it onto the bottom half while holding down with the butter knife. And if you're careful and slow, both halves should fit together and your blade will be loose here, which is fine. Now we want to sneak the uh, button in. This little spring part faces the top, not the bottom. Uh, there's a little lip on the button. You push that into the bottom of the handle. 
and slowly lift up on the top but not too far. The button will slide in and then you have to slide the button around and push down on the two halves until you hear it click into the guide and that was that little L-shaped nub sticking out. So now the uh, action is good, the blade's still loose which is fine. So now while still holding down on the two halves we need to uh, reinsert a screw or two until it's tight. And then we will finish the rest. And at this point you are pretty safe. The hardest part is getting the spring into the guide and getting it to stay. If you want to test now, the two screws are in tight, you can pull your blade, push your button up all the way to the top, pull your blade to the top and out a little bit. Be careful doing that because the sharp edges are here and here. Uh, so now the knife is actually ready to work. I'll still hold down on the halves just to make sure everything is straight, but you should be able to open and close your knife now. So now I'm going to finish installing the screws. Now that they're all in, I'm just going to torque them. Not too tight, just a little turn from here to here. To here on the back. And then just go back the other way, here to here. And to here. Now we're going to insert the belt clip, the hole here faces the back of the knife, glass breaker screws in, and then take an Allen wrench or something that will fit in here, just give it a little torque, and there the Microcheck Combat Troodon is back together and working. I have a question as well. When I open and close the knife, you hear a bit of that spring twang, and I'm wondering if any of your uh, troodons make that noise. Thank you very much. Found. Snap it. first